Assalamualaikum uh, everyone. My name is Abdullah Ahmed, and this Ramzan was the best one ever. And can you guess why? Of course, it was because of this. Getting Virat Kohli out twice and winning a Champions Trophy final against India. It doesn't get better than this. And apparently, half a billion people were watching this match on television with us. So, for a sport so huge to be played in 106 countries with an estimated fan base of 2.5 billion people, it's astonishing that cricket still faces some serious technical dilemmas. And I'll be talking about one of those today. So, it all began with me as a student at NAST when we had to come up with a project idea. And like all students, we didn't want to. But I remember going back home and switching on the television to find out that this had happened. So my personal favorite and world's top ranked bowler, Saeed Ajmal, had been banned for an illegal bowling action. Now at that time, I didn't even know what an illegal bowling action was. So I started to dig in. And what I found out was that all this time, while playing gully cricket, when somebody screamed, Oi, bata kar hai, that actually meant that somebody was bowling illegally. Now, according to the ICC's rule, a bowler throwing the ball at an arm extension greater than 15 degrees is considered to be an illegal bowling action. So if my hand is straight like this, this is 0 degrees. If it's bent like this, this is 90. And 15 is somewhere here. Now, an umpire standing on the field is supposed to visually assess whether the ball is bowling at 14, 15, or 16 degrees, now that's pretty much impossible. And relying on human judgment for such a critical analysis can always raise a lot of eyebrows. Now, ICC, in quest of making things fairer, will send a bowler to a biomechanics lab where they have this setup of high-speed cameras and they do some image analysis to let you know whether you are bowling legally or illegally. But the problem with these labs is they are just five in the whole world, it will cost you four forty thousand dollars to set up a lab like this, and it will take twenty one days to come up with the results. So, on, and on top of all this, the biggest catch. A bowler could actually be bowling illegally within the field, but when he gets to the lab, he could modify his bowling action, cheating the whole system into thinking that he's actually bowling legally. So what's happening is that players, due to this expensive solution and inaccessible solution, are getting to the international arena and they are getting banned, resulting in ruined careers, bringing financial losses, and bringing uh, embarrassment to the entire nation. So the cricketing world is looking for a solution to all these problems. So ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the world world's first wearable for cricket, and we like to call it Crickflex. So Crickflex is a wearable sleeve which any bowler can wear on his or her arm, and it lets you know on your smartphone whether the bowler is bowling legally or illegally. This handy technology will track the bowler's arm force, the amount of spin that he is generating, and the time he's taking to complete his bowling action to give you a complete evaluation of the bowler's bowling performance. But as they say, seeing is believing, so let's have a look with Crickflex in action. So after watching that video, I think I've got some great potential in acting as well. <laughs> so back in 2015, we published our results in a research paper which was accepted at an MIT conference with an accuracy of plus minus one degrees. This is a US patented technology and right now we are working closely with biomechanic labs and coaches to make this product as reliable as possible. Back in February, we were featured by Trick Info, which is the largest cricket news website in the world. And since then, we've been receiving an overwhelming response from all over the world. So I think I've talked enough. Now it's time for some action. So what I'll do is that I'll just hook up my Quick Fix sleeve with the Android app and we can get on with the demo. So I'll take just a quick moment. So, so I won't be actually bowling, I'll be bowling virtually because the organizers didn't allow me to bowl on stage, so <laughs> I'll just do that. So that was legal delivery because I'm a legal bowler. So now, <laughs> now I'll try to attempt an illegal delivery and see if I can do that. <laughs> 